Here's example five of applications of trig. So now we're going to start talking about solving triangles, uh, specifically solving right triangles. So basically what it means to solve a triangle is uh, you're given some information about some of the angles, some of the sides of a triangle, and uh, you just use that information and some trig functions to find the missing angles and missing sides. So that's what it means to solve a triangle. And here we're dealing with right triangles. So uh, in triangle ABC, oh, also if you want to copy this worksheet to follow along with uh, check the video description, there's a link in there, you can click that link and uh, get a copy of this. So anyway, uh, example 5, in triangle ABC, angle B is 20 degrees, angle C is 90 degrees, uh, and little b is 3. Find the values of big A, little a, and C. So the custom, so first let's, we're talking about right triangles, we know uh, C is 90 degrees, so we have a right angle. So the custom here is to have uh, capital letters, uh, as the names of the angles, and then the side opposite those are the corresponding lowercase letters. So we'll call this A, and C has to be our 90 degree angle, so here's C, and then here's B. Okay. So, uh, li so here's angle big B, so little b is the one directly across from that. Okay, the opposite, the side opposite angle B is little b, and we're told that it's 3. Okay. Also, we're given that angle B is 20 degrees. Okay, 20 degrees. Okay, and we need to find uh, capital A, lowercase a, and lowercase c. So, lower, so here's capital A. Lowercase a is the side across from that. And then lowercase c is the hypotenuse. It's the side across from capital C. Okay. Okay, so uh, now what do we do? Well, first what we could do is say, um, okay, well... We know that if we take all three angles in a triangle and add them up, we get 180 degrees. So A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. But we know B and we know C, so we can use that to get A. So A plus B is 20 degrees, we were given. C is 90 degrees, we were given. Okay. So 20 degrees plus 90 degrees, that's 110 degrees. So A plus 110 degrees equals 180 degrees, so now we subtract 110 from both sides, and we get A equals 70 degrees. Okay. So now we just have to find uh, little a and little c. So how do we find little a? Well now we have uh, capital A is 70 degrees. Okay. okay, capital A is 70 degrees. So uh, now, what's the tangent of capital A? The tangent is going to be, so the tangent of this angle right here is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Okay, the opposite side is little a, the adjacent side is 3. So we know this angle and we know the adjacent side, so we can use that and the tangent function to get the opposite side. Okay, so tangent of capital A equals little a over 3. Well, again, we just found uh, capital A, and it's exactly equal to 70 degrees. So that's nice that we have an exact value, um, because we want to avoid using approximations to find new values wherever we can. And in this case, it's nice that we have an exact value here, so that's good. Okay. So tangent of 70 degrees is A over 3. So then multiply both sides by 3, and then uh, 3 times the tangent of 70 degrees equals A. Okay, so let's go ahead and toss that into a calculator and see what we get. So we'll zo uh, turn it on and zoom in a little bit here. Make sure that we're in the degree mode because we're dealing with degrees and not radians. So what we have is uh, 3 times the tangent of 70 degrees and that's approximately uh, 8.24. So we'll just round out to two decimal places, 8.24. Okay, so little a is approximately 8.24. Okay, and we weren't given any units or anything, so we'll just leave it like that. Or we could just write the word units, but let's avoid that. Okay, so we have capital A, we have lowercase a, now we just need lowercase c. Okay, so uh, here, lowercase a is about uh, 8.24. Okay, now how do we get lowercase c? A couple different ways we can go. One way uh, might be, okay, let's say cosine of 20 degrees equals um, little a over little c, right? So here's 20 degrees. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay? Um, but we don't want to do that, and the reason we don't want to do that is because little a is an approximation. 
and uh, like we briefly mentioned earlier, it's a really good idea to avoid using approximations if you can. And the reason is that if you use an approximation uh, to get another value, then that other value that you get uh, might be a little inaccurate. Okay? Now we could use this value for a 3 tangent 70 degrees. We could do this and use this value because uh, it's more of an exact value, but that's kind of overkill. It'll be kind of messy and we're just kind of putting more stuff into a calculator that we don't really need. Uh, well, I guess we'll need to do it if we do it that way, but it's more than we need to do because instead of doing it this way, okay, so again, we just want to avoid the approximation, avoid the extra work. What we could say instead is uh, we can use the sine of 20 degrees, okay? Or we could use the uh, cosine of 70 degrees, either way. But anyway, let's say uh, sine, okay, sine, so actually sine of uh, angle B, okay, sine of the angle B is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so sine of angle B is going to be 3 over little c. So sine of 20 degrees equals uh, 3 over little c. Okay, so let's multiply both sides by little c, so we get c times the sine of 20 degrees equals 3. Okay, and um, now we just divide both sides by the sine of 20 degrees, so when we do that, we get uh, c equals 3 divided by the sine of 20 degrees. Okay. okay, so now we can toss that into a calculator. So 3 divided by the sine of 20 degrees, let's see what we get. Okay, so again, make sure that we're in the degree mode. Uh, degrees, DEG, deg for degrees. So we have 3 divided by the sine of 20 degrees, and that's approximately equal to uh, 8.77. So again, we'll just round to two decimal places. 8.77. So little c is approximately 8.77 units. We don't really know the units, so we'll just say that, 8.77. Okay. So that's pretty much it for example 5. Uh, this is an example of solving a right triangle. So we were given uh, two of the angles and uh, one of the sides. Okay. So we were given a side angle angle. Side angle angle is what we were given here. Okay, and um, since we had two angles, we can get the other one right away. Just remembering that if you add up all three angles, you get 180 degrees. And then after that, we just use uh, basic trig functions, tangent and then sine, uh, to get the other sides. And again, uh, avoid using approximations to get other items, uh, to get other sides and angles if you can. Okay, if you can avoid using the approximations, definitely avoid them. Anyway, that's uh, that's example five of applications of trig.